Okay, what I've got here is a battery drill, and here's my scope, and um, I'm going to turn on the uh, control. All right, and now I'm going to use a battery drill to turn the crank angle sensor. The width of the pulse is 4 milliseconds, but the voltage is only 2.4 volts. And this is all I'm seeing on the on the on the voltmeter here. And I'm not sure if that's enough to trigger the igniter on the leading coil or not. Okay, if you look over here, I have a noid light on the injector. So I've got the injectors firing. I'll turn it. So it shows that the, the primary injectors are good. And if you look at the control panel, which is sitting down near the mega squirt, you can see the blinking light. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. And these are my spark plugs, trailing and leading, but only the trailing is sparking. Whoops. What I have here is a test setup. This is an old FC uh, dash. You can see where the spark plugs are. Um, everything's put together. The idea is to put this up into the into the restored car later on once I can get it to run. I want. I didn't want to do it in the car body. And uh, that mess of wires is a leftover FC um, wire harness that would, originally I didn't realize I could mega squirt it, so I was going to use a stock wire harness and f cut the wire short once I got it working. That's the FB I want to uh, dash. I want to make sure that the tack works on it uh, so I don't have any issues there. And it's just my setup here trying to uh, do some testing. Right now you can see that the voltage with the coil on it is it's only 2.4 volts. And that's what it alternates between 0 and 2.4 volts for uh, a duration of 4 milliseconds.